Okay, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the greatest footballer in the history of football. Football. Um, scored a goal and everyone went mad. He scored three on, the, three on the spin though, hasn't he? Yeah, he's actually, yeah, I'll give him credit. He scored a few All right, goals. the other, the previous two he scored games. scored the world's worst overhead kick in pre-season though, which everyone went mad for. Listen, three goals in three games is still a good record. Fair, he, start, he, st uh, yeah, he started as well as you could hope yeah. for the guy, for the guy of said, his age. I know, he's 35 and... Will he win us a title? I don't think so. I think it'll be an amalgamation of everyone, of all the signings we've made. I thought we bought, we bought really well. Mkhitaryan, I don't really know that much about him, but just the little clips and whatever I've seen about him, he seems to be exactly what we need in, in the whole kind of thing. Uh, your man, Eric ba Bailey, Bally, however you pronounce it, he seems to be the centre half. How long do you think that will go on for? No, no, one no one knows. No one knows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but back to Ibrahimovic. Are you buying in? He's been, yeah. I bought in. We had this conversation off air, and we've had this conversation off air for about six months. Paul doesn't like him, but I think he's yeah. unbelievable. You look at his record, his record alone. It's just special. Yeah, he's he is over 30 goals a season. At every he is club. He's very much him. a flat track bully. Yeah, but he's the best kind though. Yeah, like he's the best kind. He's he's just he will. But that's that's what you need in the Premier League. I think though. he's a better Diego Costa. You need someone who will score goals in 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 every game. Or I mean, some the big games yeah. take care of themselves. But and he won't play every game. And I, but the other side of it is the marketing and all that kind of stuff. You have to play. That plays a big part. And uh, I'm, I'm just glad he's in the Premier League. Really, I'm, yeah. I'm, I know, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm even just for entertainment value. You have to say, if even just for entertainment value, it's, it's all for our comments so and not about Manchester so United. Oh, oh come on! Even, yeah. even the interviews afterwards, he's entertaining, isn't he? He was asked, but before he was here at Juventus. And he was asked if he was gay or something, and he says, "I bring your sister around to my house tonight, and I'll see you gay." <laughs> Do you know, just, even just for entertainment value, he, he's yeah. good. It's like watching Suarez at Liverpool. Yeah. He's just just a clown. Yeah. You know. No. No, he's still not having it. Why? I, don't I don't know. know. I look at the. Uh, you know what? I, I, he constantly proves me wrong. But you know, when you when you set an opinion, and it's best just to stick with it. Because <laughs> it's just too, you it'll be too cool to change to like to Zlatan. No, <laughs> it's too nice, you know. It's just too cool to like Zlatan. So I can't, I can't, I can't be having. That. I like, I like uncool things. Yeah, I mean, I um, wouldn't get, I wouldn't get carried away. Like, but it, I mean, it's Bournemouth. Yeah, like, it's like, and the complete respect to Bournemouth. I like Bournemouth, okay. but. It's not like it's not like I think he'll do well against the teams that they they dominate when they dominate those games. I think I don't think he'll do much in the big games. That's I think why yeah. I think. Again, we'll see because he's because he's he hasn't got that much pace anymore. He's, he is that big guy who's we saw it in the Community Shield. He, that header was superb, and I think that'll get. Man United out of trouble a lot because he will put his head where it hurts. He definitely did that in the game yesterday. He did it, he did but it I think in the European Cup for how many years at PSG? He got to the semi final last but, year. Yeah, but uh, often in often the big big games, I think he doesn't always. I think it, it's often a bit too frenetic for him. I think he'll dominate against the lesser sides, and I think there's huge value in that. But I, mm. I wonder against the big. No, teams he is. He is a flat Only track bully. I've got, and I've got yeah. no got no issues with that. I love the fact. I think he's absolutely fantastic. He's done that all his all his yeah. career. He's he's. Um, you're right. Yeah, you're right in that regard. Like Man United have another guy who, who puts the lesser teams to the sword since yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo left. For, uh, I don't think we've had a guy like him since uh, Van Nistelrooy. Just an out and out poaching goal scorer who's going to kick you. Yeah, he That's will basically get the, he will he get the odd goal in those big games. And also, I think a lot of teams don't want that. That big guy that you kind of need maybe in the last 10 minutes of games to, yeah. to get you a goal. And he's ready made and he's there and he's going to start he is, the game. He so. is like three different players as well. At yeah. times you say he can just be a target man. He can be a back to goal player. He, he, he's he's very, very rare, rarely loses the ball when he's got it at his feet either. Yeah. And then sometimes he can produce some just a little bit of, of magic. Yeah. You're right. I mean, there was that little moment where he, he kind of he was at his back to goal and he flipped, flipped it over. Really yeah. should have scored, yeah. shouldn't he? And if he had scored, then it's one of them where you just think, please score. I know you wouldn't mean like this. Not but it's like, please way, score <laughs> just so we can appreciate. <laughs> just so we can appreciate the, the, the pass by his last hand. Yeah. But no, right. no I, look, I, I don't think it does the Premier League any harm having him in there. And you know, from a, from a Man, Man United perspective, as hard as it is for me to put myself in that in that frame <laughs> of mind, um, not without a head injury, um, <laughs> is that it's um, no. Look, you know, you, you, it looks like it's working out. And I, 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 look, I'll admit, I thought he would struggle, and I think he might yet he might yet struggle over the full course of a season. It depends on what he, on what he's used. If Mourinho's building the side around them yeah, that's what that's, I was just about no, to say I don't think, short term no. I don't think when Mourinho played with Chelsea we played Costa off top by himself I don't think he'll be able to thrive like that but playing Rooney or Mkhitaryan or whoever you decide to play in the hole just behind him and he could feed off him yes like that 
but not up top by himself. But only time will tell because you don't know what way Mourinho's going to set up. Mm, not yet, true. anyway. Well, I saw a lot of United fans, you know, saying like, you know, everyone else needs to calm down because look, they're top of the league. <laughs> top of the league after one game. Are you asking me if I think we'll win the title? Yeah. Uh, I think it'll go to Manchester. I don't know if it'll be Ulster City though. I think it'll be a very close to towards the end. And believe it or not, I think Everton will finish top four after seeing Everton are doing. Why? Why? Cummins done it. Cummins done it at Southampton. Top four. Not didn't do top four, but he's got a better Everton side than what he had at Southampton. <laughs> no, not that bad. Mm. And, and I think he performed well against Tottenham. I well, think. I, I think if the top United four. win the league, probably someone from Man United will win Player of the Year. Do you think that might be? Do you think who would that be? Do you think that will because be, will he be the figurehead that gets all the plaudits? I don't know, off the top of my head. Because I think I think what is exciting for, if you're a Man United fan is that you've got Pogba coming in there. Rooney's going to play off him. Mkhitaryan and listen, is intelligent around him. I'm on the fence about him. Pogba. Really, I'm on, the fence, I'm on the fence about Pogba. Really, I don't think. I think he's a great player, but I don't think he's the answer. Is he worth 90 million? Absolutely he's an not. He's a long-term investment. That's what Absolutely. He is. A long-term more, investment for I think two. it worked well with He's, he's, really he's really had two players, good right? seasons. He wasn't no, good no, enough no. to play he's Premier a, League three long, years ago. No, no, he's a long-term investment because football doesn't work the way we think it works. It works because... What What was the first... Honestly, Hang on a second. If you then explain to me how it works, does that mean it doesn't work that way? Well, probably. Quite the paradox. It doesn't. Oh, my God, man. This is like Doc Brown explaining. What was the fit? I mean, you wouldn't, but if you've seen the video of Pogba winning Sam, what was the first thing you thought? What the Stormzy thing? Yeah. I thought, who's that? Yeah, apart from, <laughs> apart from the fact that we are like in our 30s and we don't know who that yeah, is. They've signed the, first thing I thought was, <laughs> the first thing I thought was, this is, a, this is an, an Adidas advert. Yeah. yeah. And that's what signing Pogba is, it's an Adidas advert. I'm afraid that's what it truly is. I think is. Man United signs this year have been very good, not just on the pitch, but in terms of marketing. Of course they have. F- Ibrahimovic, Mkhitaryan to a certain extent, I suppose. Not you right. know, Pogba. In, in Armenia, Pogba. they're mad. Yeah. No, no <laughs> one's... <laughs> Nicotarian's not, you know, it's that's not exactly a, a bad it's not, a it's word, not, is it? For, but he's certainly. I, I, I wouldn't even know to put that into Google. I'm afraid. Yeah. Oh, come on. I put my Tarian or something. I don't know, but. <laughs> But no, but very different. Imagine being like, Everton's club shop trying to print that shit. Oh, yeah. to be fucked. Well, Latsam Lats- 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 being number nine, Pogba being number six. The, these these things all yeah. work brilliantly. Into even the Pogba announcement. I know. They, yeah. They did it. They did it for overseas markets, not for not for the British market. Yeah. That's how things get played at big companies. Uh, the only back down to your question, but Jim, sorry. Back down to your question. If I if United win the league and Pogba scores twenty goals a season, it'll be Player of the Year. If United don't win no. the league and Pogba scores 20 goals a season, he'll still be playing. David the Hale will yeah, be played this season. Good point, if Man United win the league, I don't believe the whole. The, I think the marketing stuff is part of it, but I, I still think Mourinho doesn't care about the marketing inside of it. He needs to win the league. He wants to keep that run going that he's done before, and it, he was given a lot of money to do it. And I think he's built put a really exciting team there because you lack a bit of pace in Rooney and, and Ibrahimovic, but Pogba will be allowed to. Drive through and go wherever he wants. It's got, yeah. it's got, well, it's, it's, it's all, a it's all a bus for Mourinho. And I actually think not, not necessarily Mourinho's career because you'll still, you can still pretty much go and manage most places. Anywhere. But there's a lot of pressure on him to succeed in, in, in the short term because I, I think a lot of the shine's got off it. My hope is that because what Man United have been doing the last couple of seasons is that Man United have gone back to what they were in the eighties. Shit. Well, you know, because we're not shit, <laughs> but that like trying to trying to buy success. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, that's what United used to do. They oh, go spend you know, the biggest you money think on the biggest names you get on. You went out and spent, look at the money spent on, on Di Maria. Average players? Di Maria, Di Maria was not an average player. He no, was the best player in Madrid's side. I agree. And I, I think he shouldn't have gone. Mm-hmm. I think that we should have kept Di Maria. I think he got injured and then he got burgled and he kind of went off the boil. He got sent <laughs> off against Arsenal <laughs> yeah. and he lost the plot. But I the point, was yeah, no, but the point I'm trying to make is that Man United could have spent that money over the last three seasons on building, for the, building a side that could be actually ready to peak now. But instead, they've gone out and they've tried to fix yeah. problems and appease the fans by buying big money players what I that think, don't fit in. With what, what I think they've, they've done do. is the two big managers to try to feed the ego of the managers. I'm the biggest manager in the world. I have to buy the biggest players in the world. Mourinho did it at Chelsea. And Van Hal, the Van Hal's ego speaks for itself. He played shit football. Did he, and he bought no, shit I don't players. think Mourinho did. He didn't buy the, he didn't buy the biggest. Whenever he, Carvalho when wasn't the biggest, biggest name. He went out and bought. He bought Carvalho he for there. He paid a lot of money for them, but they weren't. They're his players. They were, they exactly. They weren't like he didn't go out and buy. You know, it's not like going by and, like PSG when they bought Luis from Chelsea, that kind of thing. Or, you were saying he wasn't because of Mourinho's ego. He paid £23 million for Sean Wright Phillips just so as United didn't sign him. 
That's not <laughs> so the best one I've Do you see what I'm saying now? Yeah. But he did, buy one, of the, he did <laughs> buy one of the world's best players in Joe Cole. That's not the <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, then, are you, are you excited by the signings or, yes, or yeah. worried? Isn't that, yeah. But isn't that, the ulti- isn't that ultimately yeah. the thing? Is that you, as a Man United fan, you must be really excited by all your signings. I am, I am, but at the same time, I don't want to get over enthusiastic about it because I've seen it for the last three years with Van Hal. Van Hal was the next best thing and he spent all this money on mediocre players. I'm not saying Mourinho's done that, but I just don't want to get too excited and be disappointed come the end of the season. <laughs> this is fair, isn't it? I That's can understand that. I can understand that. I think That's though, I think though he's, he's covered it up really well by buying Mkhitaryan and buying... Uh, but, um, he's being fucking bally, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> by buying uh, ba- ba- Bailey Bally Bally uh, <laughs> at the back. <laughs> and they are like... He's bought the spine, yeah. so yeah. The, other, the other things are just like nice little trinklets to go with it. But he has got the spine now, yeah. and he's got the other players ar- around him as well. So I, I still think we need North Centre half. I don't think Chris Smalling's good enough to play with Bailey. But the problem I last year was that he, he didn't he have will a spine. He'll be an Everton so. centre half only, Chris Smalling. I, th- I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't well, think Smalling's bad, but he needs someone in there who's going to organise. Two years Smalls from now, he will be your centre half. Retired in our team. Yeah, you're getting your team. No, we're going to our team. What's the average? Plus, well, he looks like he should be in Super Mario <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a goober. <laughs> sure, go for it. Not as bad as Marlon Hare would. No, not as bad. Anyway. <laughs> not as bad as Marlon. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're after Man United fans. Are you excited by this? As, do you think? The power of Zlatan combined with the power of Pogba, which works better because of alliteration, uh, is enough to guide Man United to a title this season. Let me know in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Ball Street YouTube channel.